how do you invest in Fortnite? I'm sure if you've been all over YouTube or you're into gaming at all, you've heard of the title Fortnite. It's one of the most, if not the most popular games in 2018. Everyone from kids to adults are involved with this game. Your famous YouTubers are involved with this game. Even celebrities are involved with this game. But as an investor, you see this as an opportunity, but how do you take advantage of this opportunity? Let's go through that today. Well, as an investor, the first thing that really comes to mind is when you see something that's popular, something that's trending, something that you think is sustainable, you want to invest in that business. So you would want to typically or ideally invest in Fortnite. So you go on Google and you search up who's the company that makes Fortnite. I guess I could invest in that company. You look it up and you find that Epic Games is the company that actually has created Fortnite. Now Epic Games is also known for popular titles like Unreal, like the whole Unreal genre that a lot of us have grown up on, as well as other popular titles like Gears of War. So these guys know how to make games, they know how to make popular games, and this could actually be a good investment opportunity. Now all of this is kind of confirmed by their latest title and their most popular title, Fortnite. Okay, so now that we know the company that makes Fortnite, Epic Games, all we have to do is go to our broker, look for Epic Games, buy some shares in the company and just hold it and hopefully benefit from this because like we said, Fortnite is a game that's gaining a lot of popularity and as a result, a lot of income as well. In fact, there was recently an article a couple of months ago that said that Fortnite earned almost $300 million. Just think about that, a game earning $300 million, that's absolutely insane which is another reason why a lot of people are thinking, hey, how can I invest in this company? How can I take advantage of their success and earn some sort of benefit from that as an investor? Well, when you do a search for Epic Games in your broker, you'll soon come to the realization that they are a private company, which means they are not traded on the stock market. That also means that you cannot invest in Epic Games, unfortunately. The only people that are really invested in this company are private investors, or private groups, private equity groups, and they own portions of the company. Now, if you had some sort of insider information or you knew the developers or you knew some of the creators of Epic Games, then maybe you could have a chance of earning a portion of the company. But as an average investor, that's most likely not a realistic possibility. But don't give up just yet, just hold on. As an investor, there's actually another way you can invest in Epic Games. So let's think about this. The company that makes Fortnite Epic Games is private. And like I just mentioned, there are other companies that have stakes in Epic Games that own Epic Games. So now maybe one of those companies that owns a portion of Epic Games is a public company. Now to a lot of people's surprise, if we take a look at the company Tencent, yes, the Chinese company Tencent, they actually own a 40% stake in Epic Games. So this means essentially that they own 40% of Fortnite and as a result, 40% of Fortnite's profits. Now, not only are they just an owner in Fortnite, but they're also investing heavily to bring Fortnite to China. So that's another huge market that Fortnite could see a lot of revenue and profits come in from in the next few months or in the next few years. Like we said, it did pass $300 million recently, and I wouldn't be surprised if it passed half a billion dollars by the end of this year. It's just absolutely a very addictive and popular game that's just almost everyone in the gaming community has at least heard of, if not tried and plays regularly. So I'd really be curious at this point, if you guys do play Fortnite, let me know in the comment section what's so great about this game. I downloaded this game on my Xbox One as the, the trial that they have up there, and I didn't really get into it. I tried it for a few minutes, didn't really find it that interesting. But just let me know in the comment section what's so interesting about this game. What makes you guys want to keep playing this game? But anyways, let's not diverge from the topic at hand here. We're talking about Tencent, and this is another reason why I absolutely love Tencent. They are a company in China that owns pieces of many other companies, and a lot of them being US companies as well. And as a result, Fortnite is actually one of their more successful investments. And that kind of trickles down to their bottom line and that'll show in their earnings report as well as a year over year growth in their gaming sector that they have investments in. So now if we take a look at Tencent's charts, we can actually see here that it's currently struggling like most other Chinese stocks really in the market due to the trade war talk that's been going on between the US and China. 
Now that and also China has apparently entered a bear market like some want to call it. So this also kind of weighs in on an overall stock's performance when it's part of that market. Now that being said though, the fundamentals of Tencent are still very strong. And as of right now, we are hovering around the 200 day moving average, which looks like some really good support for this stock. So this level also happens to coincide with the 50 weekly moving average, which has not been tested since something like late 2016. So this is a very healthy level for the stock to come down to and test. Now, if this holds, which I'm leaning more towards yes than no, unless the economy in China just keeps getting worse and as a result, Tencent keeps getting hit, I do think that we'll recover and then start moving back up to its all-time highs, which I believe was somewhere close to $60. So a lot of good upside here in this stock. So I'll actually be doing a more deep dive analysis on Tencent because as you know, it's one of my core holdings, one of my top holdings. I will be releasing a video soon on the stocks that I own. So stay tuned for that because there was some changes to Tencent in my portfolio. But either way, guys, if you want to see a deep dive on Tencent, let me know in the comment section down below. I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to invest positively. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.